Hello guys. guys, you're welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are feeling good. So guys, I'm here with this my special guest. Oh, my name is Buga Twilo Chase. I'm excited to be here again, guys. All right, guys. We're going to be checking out a video together titled Why Don't the Muslims Follow the Teachings of Jesus? Yeah, Muslims call Jesus Isa. So let's watch, guys. I have one question. In the Surah Al-Imran, verse 50, it says to follow the teachings of Jesus. Why doesn't anyone do this? Can you mention your name, sister, please? Chastity. Sister asked a question that the Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 50, that we have to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And there are many verses which say that we have to believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. Sister, let me clarify that Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was the Messiah translated to Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Christian and the Muslim sister, we are going together. But one may ask, where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is, sister, that many Christians, they say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. He said that he was almighty God. If you read the Bible, sister, there is not a single unequivocal statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me. If any Christian can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement, in the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. I am not speaking on behalf of my other Muslim brothers. In fact, if you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, My father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devil with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I cast out devil with the finger of God. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, for I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God. <laughs> but the will of my Father. Anyone who says that I followed not my will, but the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, as a Muslim. He never claimed divinity, and it's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. Ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him, and you are witness to it. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles which God did by him, and you are witness to it. So we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of God, but he was not God. So here we differ. As far as the teachings are concerned, your basic question was that Quran says we have to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came in this world, he was only sent for the Jews, only for Bani Israel. The Quran says clearly, in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came as a messenger to the Bani Israel. It's mentioned in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse 49, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was sent only for the Bani Israel. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse number 5 and 6, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he says, Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? Non-Jews, Hindus, Muslims. Go ye not in the way of the Gentiles, enter ye not into the city of the Samaritans, but rather go to the house of the Lordship of Israel. And a similar message is repeated in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 15, verse number 24. He says to his apostles that I have been sent not but to the Lordship of the house of Israel. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was sent only for the Bani Israel. And his message was supposed to be followed 
only for a particular time period. That's what the Bible says, that's what the Quran says. In spite of this, sister, if you read the Bible, what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, if you analyze, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was circumcised on the eighth day. We Muslims, mashallah, we are circumcised. Majority of the Christians aren't circumcised. So if you say that following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, makes you a Christian, then I like to say that I am more Christian than the Christian themselves. It is mentioned in the Bible. In the book of Ephesians. Mm. Wow. This is really amazing, guys, to know that they actually follow the teachings of Jesus. And through Jesus, we can communicate with God. Through him, we get to communicate with God. That's why sometimes we pray in the name of Jesus, because since he's the son of God, so is the right hand of God. So through him, we can get connected to God really well. So we don't really say that Jesus is God, no. No, I don't, we don't claim that. He has actually proved that truly, truly, they follow the teachings of Jesus Christ and they believe whatever Jesus says. But the only thing they don't believe is the fact that people talk about Jesus being God and Jesus is not God. And also, um, Islam doesn't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And mm -hmm. yeah, so um, a, a video I did with um, the positivity mindset okay. was in the studio earlier, and I, I spoke with him and I tried, we had uh, a video we, we watched and I tried to break it down okay. like using physical terms here. So now, the people, or the, um, Muslims do not believe that Jesus um, is the son of God. But mm -hmm. like, then I asked him, who is the father of Jesus? And they're like, Jesus doesn't have a father. But I, and I was like, okay, fine. So we agreed that Joseph, was not the person who impregnated Mary yeah, for him yes. to give her. Yeah, like, yes. And like, okay, fine. Now, bringing using Adam's, Adam's, um, Adam Thames. Now, Adam was not given birth to. He was actually curated. Yes. Right then, there's a compound, there's an element, which was what? Mud, Mud. or soil or dust, whatever we mm -hmm. call it. And that element is put in place then. Jesus, God, what? Breathed into it's him, yeah. Him. And he mm -hmm. came to life, life right now. So now, using Jesus, um, Jesus now, coming to Jesus, now, um, he was, there was no male intervention. So, and according to the Quran said, God spoke a word, right? And as spirit, it went to Mary and mm -hmm. impregnated Mary. Mm -hmm. Then I was trying to let him know that we Christians would believe Jesus is the word of God personified, the word of God made, made flesh. flesh yes. Okay, so if... There was no male intervention that actually gave birth to um, uh, like an intervention for Jesus to come into the world, right. right? Then it is right for us to see Jesus is actually the son of God because there's, if there's a mother, there should be a father. Because mm -hmm. there was a creation, then there's a creator. Mm -hmm. So if Mary is the mother, then like the early mother, then we're right to say Jesus, Jesus is the uh, son of God because he oh, was yeah. actually put inside um, Mary Right, without any external factor, but since there is there is a mother, then in this normal world, then there should be a father, right? Okay. That is why when Mary brought Jesus to them, according to the Quran, that they were like, Mary, you have brought such a shame to us and your family and the rest of that. They were mm. um, chastising Mary. Um, according to um, the Quran, it was already told that when they talk to you about the chastise, you just point to the child and the child will speak. According to the Quran, Jesus spoke when he was a kid, mm. when he was young, okay. yes. Like when he was very, Don't very young, like, mm. like a baby, like baby. a fresh ah. baby, yeah, you know, like wow. a, new, a newly born. Oh, okay. So when he got to there, he pointed to the baby and the baby was like, he didn't sleep with, she didn't sleep with anyone, um, divine and the rest of that. According mm. to God. Yeah, so he spoke. So definitely, if using that um, analogy, analogy, then yeah. if, if, there's a fa if there's a mother, then there should be a, a father. father. Because that's why the people didn't believe that Jesus was divine until Jesus spoke. That means then there is a father. Mm -hmm. So father. even it might not be physical, then it is right for us to say Jesus is actually the son of God. Because according to the Quran, it is believed that Jesus is the word of God. You understand? God mm -hmm. spoke. Then as a spirit, it went into Mary. Then, and we Christians, we believe Jesus is the word of God personified. Yes. 
Okay. And I also tried bringing this analogy to, I was trying to tell him that in the presidency or in the royal family, mm -hmm. the son, the prince and the king actually have almost the same authority in the sense that if the prince, if the king, king is, is absent, absent. the, the prince, prince the yes, can take yes. on actions on behalf of the, of the throne. True. Yes, so if we can use that analogy and we say Jesus doesn't have a father, like an earthly father here, but there, since there is a mother, then there's someone who imputed that um, fetus inside of, mm. of, um, mm -hmm. of, of Mary, because yes. a woman cannot impregnate himself so, even mm -hmm. others right now they say well i don't need the man i don't need the man but they still need the sperm yes for them to impregnate themselves to impregnate herself like through ivf yes. and other artificial insemination and the rest of that so this is what i was trying to let him know that we're not far-fetched even if you don't believe that um, um god um because is right. a son of god right. like because um in terms yes. of sexual intercourse okay. and the rest of that but then if we're using the fact that jesus has a mother the then there's someone is responsible. The yes, there's a father figure in hmm. there. And all the time you say, I am my father, I won. Oh, myself, I can do nothing. Oh, my father, my father, why have you forgotten, forgotten me? me? And the rest of that. So he made this um, 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 reference to his father, his father, or in so many cases, or in so many places in the Bible. So that's what I'm, I'm just trying to look at. I, I'm not disputing the fact where they are, what they're trying to say about Jesus and the rest mm. of that. But if we're not saying that God came down, had intercourse with Mary and the rest, mm. no. But then, if we ourselves too can call ourselves children of God, even we are the creation yeah. from Adam, then yes. Jesus, who was by, is a spirit. According, because according to the Quran, it says, is a spirit. And we believe that Jesus, too, is the word of God. And, and we believe that the word of God is spirit. And we say in the Bible that, mm -hmm. even the Bible says that it cannot return to God except it has accomplished that which it has um, been sent out to, out to do. Yeah, because even Jesus said, um, heaven and earth shall pass away, but not a title of my word mm. shall pass. Go with that committee path. Exactly. So, that's what I was trying to make him understand. understand. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright guys, let's keep watching. Chapter number 5, verse number 18. That, be not drunk. It's mentioned in the book of Proverbs. Chapter number 20, verse number 1. That, wine is a mocker. We Muslims, we don't drink alcohol. Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90, alcohol is haram, we don't touch it. We don't touch it as a whole. The Muslims are the biggest community of teetotalers. So according to the Bible, you should not have alcohol. It's mentioned in the Bible that you should not have pork in several places. It's mentioned in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5. No less than five places that you should not have pork. We Muslims, we don't have pork. But majority of the Christians, they have pork. So if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. I can go on and on. When Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was asked that which is the first of the commandments, he mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29, he said, Shama Israelo adnai haino adnai khad. It's a Hebrew quotation which means, Your O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. We Muslims, mashallah, we believe in none but one God. Majority of the Christians, they believe in Trinity. Father, Son and Holy Ghost. So if you say Christian, means the person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. And you can refer to my video cassette, similarities between... Islam and Christianity, which will give you more details that we are following more of the Bibles, the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, than the Christians themselves. Hope that answers the question, sister. Mm. So now I've gotten to understand it. I never knew they actually followed the teachings of Jesus because of the kind of things they know about Jesus. Because most of them always think, oh, Jesus didn't come to perform miracles. Some don't believe in it that Jesus came to perform miracles. Just believe that he's a prophet. You know, what is crazy, uh, I've come to find out these past few weeks, I've been checking out Islamic content, is the fact that most people who come, who slander, who attack Christians, mm. don't even know more about the Quran. Because those who know about the Quran will never say things about you and Jesus Christ, that they won't say anything bad or about Jesus. 
you know. Mm -hmm. But those who are not really versed in the Quran will just come out and say, you Christian, Jesus, mm -hmm. this and that and that. No, but those who are well read, who understand the Quran, will never say anything wrong about um, Christianity. Mm, yeah. That's true. That's true. And this was really well explained. So, what is trying to say that even some Christians don't really follow the teachings of Jesus yeah. more than them, yeah. them, the Muslims. That the Muslims take the teaching of Jesus very well. They are so religious, they take it seriously more than some Christians. And I think it's true. This should be true, yeah. So guys, thank you for watching to this point. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like, share and comment. I'll be dropping his um, channel link in the description box for more reaction videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.